Hey guys, today we are uploading our own fonts into Canva. It is super easy, so let's get started. All right, so as you know, Canva, they have their own fonts and they've gotten actually pretty good at getting some better fonts, but sometimes you might have a font, a specific one that you want to upload into Canva so that you could um, add it to your design. So you're gonna have to have a Canva Pro account to do this. And um, the first thing we want to do is grab a font that we want. It has to be already downloaded to your computer. And to get free fonts, you can go to this site, which is dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T. I'll leave a link in the description box. There's also a thousand and one fonts. And there are a few other sites that you can get free fonts from. So um, to search for the font you want, you can come up top, put in a specific name or you can just click on the categories they have here. I usually like to do calligraphy or handwritten. So whichever one you desire is fine. Let's do this one sometime. I don't think I have a font similar to that. So you're just gonna click download and I'm working on a Mac computer. I will leave instructions on, if you're working with a PC, I'll leave instructions in the uh, description box on how to get it to your computer if you're working with the PC, but on a Mac, you're going to just download it to your files and here it is in order to open it all you have to do is just double click on it and it should automatically open with the default app so once you see this little box here you'll just click install font and then you'll see it in your list of installed fonts on your computer so you're gonna wanna remember where it's saved. Mine is just saved to downloads. Um, now let's head over to Canva and upload it. All right, once you're in Canva, you're gonna wanna go to your brand kit. Scroll all the way to the bottom until you see upload a font. Go ahead, click on upload font. And then you wanna find the font that you just downloaded. So the name of that font was sometimes, I'm gonna just type that in here. Okay, and here you'll see the TTF. Go ahead, some, there may be an OTF or TTF, it doesn't matter, just click on either one. So I'm gonna click on the TTF, double click, and it's gonna ask you to confirm that you own this font. Go ahead and click yes, upload away even though you don't technically own it, but it's for free use. So go ahead and click yes. All right, so you'll see here, I have a ton of fonts that I have uploaded to Canva because I guess I'm obsessed with fonts. So let's go over and create a design. Uh, we'll just do a Facebook post. And Let's just type something random in here. Okay, so your paragraph text here. I'll just leave it like that. All right, now go up to font and you can just search for the font that you just uploaded. Usually um, the fonts that you upload will be up top. They'll say uploaded fonts, but you can also type in here the name of the font and it should come right up. So that was sometimes, and there it is. So let's click on that. And now you have your font that you just downloaded into Canva. And it's as simple as that. Um, you can also do this on the mobile app. I'll go ahead and do a separate video showing how to do this on the mobile app. Remember, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account for this. If you wanna know some benefits of upgrading from a free account to a Canva Pro account, just click on the, uh, the link up here and I have a video showing some of the benefits of upgrading to Canva Pro. So hope that was helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.